in a very exciting piece of casting news, the Titans TV show has hired an actor to play Bruce Wayne. Ian Glenn, famous, he's been an actor for a while though, but he's probably most famous for being Jorah Mormont on Game of Thrones. He's been cast to play Bruce Wayne. Obviously an older Bruce Wayne because Ian Glenn's an older actor, but you know, AKA Batman, who will be important in Titans because you know, Dick Grayson is a main character on it and you know, Jason Todd just joined. Um, and even in season one, there was a lot of drama, Batman family drama between the Robins and Batman's effect on the young man he takes in as Robins and their relationship with violence and him. So I think the people making the show, the producers are like, how can we tell the story of what it's like to work for Batman or basically be raised by Batman and be his sidekick or in his shadow without Batman being on the show, right? Like, Dick Grayson has problems all through season one. He talks about, you know, F Batman, I can't stand Batman. But at the same time, you know he also loves Batman. Jason Todd's got his own issues or opinions or relationship with Batman too. How are you going to really tell that dramatically on the show really well to show it if Batman never shows up? It's like the Batman coming on the show makes, you know, telling the drama, portraying the drama in the Bat family much more easier. So this is great. I wasn't expecting them to ever cast Batman. I thought Batman was just going to be, you know, you'd see him in the shadow where his back was turned or they'd shoot him from the head down. I mean, the, the shoulder down so you wouldn't have to show his face because they didn't want to hire an actor to do it. <laughs> they would just have extra, extras be in shadow. But this is great. They are really going to go, Titans is going to like really zero in on the Bat family drama. And I like it because I think that the way they set it up with two Robins on the show, you need to have Batman show up at least sometimes to completely tell the Robin story and what it's like. That's a big part of their lives, you know? And the show wants to go there, and I think that's great. He'll obviously be, since Ian Glenn, like I said before, is an older actor, you know, they are going with the, I guess they're trying to be logical, as in, you know, usually when the Robins first show up to work for Batman, they're little kids. So now that Dick Grayson and Jason Todd are like in their 20s, I think like, um, Britton Thwaites, who plays Dick Grayson, is like 30 or whatever in real life, they've aged up. So if they've grown up to be that old and they started when they were little boys, Batman has to have like aged up too. So it's logical that he'd be an older man, you know, an older seasoned man. So, you know, the, the, the Titans TV show, I think, is being realistic in the Robin Batman kind of age difference, which I think is cool. And I'm really excited to see how this is going to turn out. Again, as I've said, he's just going to be a recurring character. Batman's not going to be a regular person on the show. So he's not going to be a main cast member. He's going to come in and out as they need him. So, you know, he's going to be like, you know, Hawk and Dove or Wonder Girl in the first season. Not a regular, like, member of the team or whatever, but he'll show up enough to be a presence in the show, I assume. But they were on the show enough that even though they were guest stars, they did seem like sort of kind of regular cast members. So I'm wondering, you know, maybe, you know, even though Batman's going to be, you know, a guest star, a recurring character, it might seem like he's a regular cast member you know, his presence might be big enough, which might be interesting. So I expect a lot of, you know, arguments, a lot of, you know, family squabbles, and hopefully we'll get to see Batman and his Robins team up sometimes to, feed, to beat up bad guys. Wouldn't that be cool to see Batman and the Robins fight bad guys on the small screen? I think audiences will get a kick out of that. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel because I appreciate your viewership and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.